It's yeah. Uh, I'm 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 very very happy to be here on on behalf of the movie, certainly on behalf of representing the WWE. So it's a great night. I don't normally ask people what they have in common with their characters, but I feel like in the case of this movie, I can ask you what you have in common with your character. So you should always ask that question because normal, uh, and this is just for me. Like either you find something that's in your wheelhouse, or you find something that's the exact opposite. So in this case, everybody's like, "Oh, Yoshi's a polar bear that hates the cold." I think Yoshi's a polar bear who yearns for warmth, and these guys will tell you, like, as tough as I try to act in WWE, I'm the biggest softy inside, so uh, I guess we share that. We're both uh, vulnerable and like our friends and, and family and search for warmth. A big, lovable teddy bear. Is this the case? Is this true? Uh, yes, absolutely, yeah. This guy's helped me so much in my career, and while I was trying to figure everything out, um, always has time for everybody. Legend. Just a legend. Hi. Hello, oh, hello. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Tell me about the star. Uh, the star is just a, a symbol of awareness for Make-A-Wish. Make-A-Wish is starting a campaign where they just give these little blue stars. I think this is actually, believe it or not, I'm lucky enough to get the first one. So uh, they just were uh, proud enough to announce a new CEO, and one of the initiatives was to just casually raise awareness when you can, and this is actually the first one. So I'm a very proud recipient of the first symbol of just trying to raise awareness for Make-A-Wish. Fantastic, and congratulations on that. Congratulations on this movie. Voicing a polar bear, did you ever put that on your like career objectives, I want to voice a polar bear one day? I was actually number one on the bucket list since I've been like 15 years old. Yes, yes, do a lot. I don't think live action was a thing back then, but I said do a, do a live action VO as a polar bear. No, um, it's, I mean, if you look at the poster and the names associated with the project, this is an amazing project to be part of. It's also a really fun family film. So uh, I, I read it, I liked it, and then when you learn who's involved with it, it's amazing. So um, just any, I, and I don't know if you worked with any of the other cast. I know you probably worked with Robert and Susan. If you could talk about that. Uh, so they were instrumental in defining who Yoshi would be, and through the process of creating this live-action masterpiece, many renditions of the character happened. And we tried to pinpoint, like, okay, why does he have his ailment? Is there anything that we could uh, steer the intentions in a certain direction? We went through, like, angry, we went through, like, surfer, and then they came up with a word of positive, like glass half full. And that, just that one word kind of curated the whole experience for who the character was, and that's all, that's all on them. So it was their direction that kind of crafted what you're going to see on the on the screen as a final product. Well, I've seen it. It's incredible. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Congratulations. I want to call you Yoshi from now on. <laughs> I'll do it. I got a lot of nick nicknames. I'll add Yoshi to the bunch. Thank you, everybody. Have fun. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. For a bear or always a teddy bear? Oh, uh, no. He's got he's got some bear in him as well. Trust me. I've, I've been in the ring with him. I get that side of him as well. But uh, like Becky said, he's helped me out immensely on the outside of the ring as well as inside. So, yeah, he's got both sides to him. So just voicing a character, this one you really have to use your imagination, I would imagine. I would imagine. Um, just because you have to be reacting to all these different things that's going on. Is that a challenge? Is it fun? What is it like doing a voice character versus acting where you're seen on screen? It's a fun challenge, and I think, um, much like in WWE, we have certain circumstances where you can do certain things in some matches, and some matches you can't do certain things. You can look at that as a negative, or like, oh, okay, let's find ways to make it fun and creative. Just because I don't have any elements in the VO studio to play off or against, all that means is i got to use my imagination more. So it's not like it's a, a negative thing, it's a fun challenge. And there's four Academy Award winners in this cast. It sort of speaks to the cast. It's pretty incredible. Um,